Massive strike averted as operators state and union reach a deal to give staff unprecedented wage increases in Connecticut, and new CMS vaccination reporting mandate could drive nursing homes to reach a 75% staff goal. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, May 19th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. You can enroll quickly on our website at nacacna.org. Dozens of Connecticut nursing home operators are breathing a sigh of relief after an initial deal was reached that would give workers an unprecedented wage increase over the next several years. The move averts, at least for now, two strike efforts that could have taken thousands of workers off the job. A four-year deal was confirmed by Connecticut Governor Ned Lamont, Democrat, late Friday. It included a pledge from the state to increase Medicaid rates specifically for wages and health benefits by 4.5% in 2022 and 6.2% the following year. The state had previously offered to increase the rate by 4.5% in both years. The overall deal is worth $267.2 million and also includes a 10% Medicaid increase to nursing homes worth $86 million and $13 million for more training and staff development. Leaders for SEIU District 1199 New England postponed a scheduled strike of 2,800 workers that had been set to begin last Friday and another 1,200 workers that was set to start May 28th. Union officials say that future strike plans will be canceled once all labor agreements are finalized. Providers say they are on board with a new COVID-19 vaccination reporting mandate announced by federal health officials on Tuesday, calling the additional transparency critical for the industry to meet its own staff vaccination goals. CMS announced early Tuesday an interim final rule requiring long-term care and intermediate care facilities to report weekly COVID-19 vaccination data for both residents and staff. Enforcement of the rule will begin June 14th. Civil monetary penalties may be imposed for failing to report COVID-19 vaccination rates, similar to actions that may be taken concerning rules for flu and pneumonia vaccines, officials said. Facility-specific vaccination levels will be posted publicly on the agency's COVID-19 nursing home data website as more information becomes available, according to CMS. LTC facilities are currently required to report only COVID-19 testing, case, and mortality data to the National Healthcare Safety Network for residents and staff, but not vaccination rates. The new rule is designed to assist in monitoring uptake among residents and staff and aid in identifying facilities that may be in need of additional resources to respond to the COVID-19 pandemic. Current official vaccination data for long-term care facilities nationwide was not clear at production deadline, but CMS previously said that approximately 22% of LTC residents and 62% of staff initially declined the vaccine during the federal sponsored vaccination clinics. Industry stakeholders who have set a 75% staff COVID vaccination rate goal by the end of June said the move will help them reach that target. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week and I'll see you on Wednesday.